Bill Maher, the quite liberal U.S. comic, did a recent show about Islam that was really a smear, calling it uh, inherently violent and uniquely immoral. There was a contrary view presented by actor Ben Affleck, who made a good case, but there were no Muslims. That's weirdly common. I went on a CBC panel after 9-11 about Islam. The other panelists were Jonathan Kay from the National Post and Norman Spector, a former ambassador to Israel. Three Jews talking about Muslims. It doesn't just happen with religion or ethnicity. U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren says the bankruptcy commission there had no bankrupt people on it. Why not? Those people should be there even if it wouldn't necessarily change the results. It's like minority hiring in media. It makes them more diverse, though not always more truly multicultural in outlook. It's complicated. Minorities differ among themselves. There may even be Muslims who agree with Bill Maher. So what's the point? The point isn't to get the correct Muslim or minority point of view. It's to open the discussion up to multiple voices from all communities. Then, at least Bill Maher couldn't claim to speak about Islam as if it's one monolithic thing. For TheStar.com, I'm Rick Salutin.